Hello and welcome. Thank you for popping into my channel. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for me. If you find this content helpful, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on the next video. Comment below with anything that you need help with or topics you'd like me to cover and check out my website, consultingninja.tech. With that out of the way, let's get right to it. We're getting into some more Svelte. We've previously created a navigation bar. That's awesome. All of the text for this and all the link URLs are all coming from a link util file. But now we need to actually do something with these. We need these to send us somewhere. So that's where we need to get into routing. I'm going to start by showing you guys how to implement hash routing. There is a NPM package, but I'm going to show you guys how to do this pretty easily on your own. So without further ado, let's get straight to it. Make sure your development server is up and running. If you need the source code for this, it will be available in the, my repository. I will link in the description. Let's get into our folder here. Inside of source, let's create a new file called url.js. What we are creating is called a store. It is the built-in state management that Svelte comes with, which is awesome. Svelte is pretty sweet. If you guys have not already realized that, I hope you are starting to because I absolutely love Svelte. It's so intuitive and easy to use. So what we want to do is import derived and writable, and then we're going to export this function called create URL store that takes a URL parameter. And we can open that up a bit. The first thing that we need to do is check to see if window has been uh, already initialized. If it has, then we don't, we don't want to run this function any more than once. So we're doing this to make sure that we don't create any memory leaks. So let's do type of window equals undefined. If that's the case, then what we want to do is const subscribe equals writable passing it URL and then return brackets subscribe just like that okay we only do this if the window is undefined now we need to set up some constants and some utility functions so we need to check the href so const href is assigned writable and we're passing it window dot location dot href like that then const original push state equals history dot push state const original replace state equals history dot replace state const update href this is an anonymous function that is href dot set window dot location dot href okay now let's define history history dot push state is assigned function This is just going to be original push state dot apply this comma arguments and then update href. Next, we need to define our replace state. So history dot replace state is going to be a function as well. And this is going to be original replace state dot apply this comma arguments and then update href now let's add our event listeners so window dot add event listener pop state and what are we doing updating href and then window dot add event listener to hash change and we are also going to update our href on that and then we can go ahead and return 
brackets, subscribe. And this is going to be where we have our derived, which takes href and an anonymous function, dollar sign href, new URL, dollar sign href dot subscribe. All the way in the very bottom outside of the actual function, let's just do an export default create URL store running the function like that. So anytime that the current state of the URL changes or there's a hash change, then the href will be updated. Go ahead and save that file. In our app.svelte, we can go ahead and import URL from dot slash URL. However, we can't make use of this until we have pages to actually render. So let's put this on pause. You can save that and then let's create in lib a new file called page.svelte. Here we're going to need a script to export out our props. Uh, you can also do this a little bit differently. You can do export const page equal to dollar sign dollar sign props.page if you like that better than export let. Then what we're going to render is a div with a class equal to header. This is going to be an h1 where we're pulling in page.header text from the page. Then another div with a class equal to some JavaScript. Here it's going to be a string literal, so backticks main dash dollar sign brackets page.template. This is going to allow us to pass in a prop and change the class whenever we want. So allows us to have multiple layouts easily. Then three divs. So one, two, and three. Again, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch me type out all of the CSS. We want to get to the good stuff. I'll just go ahead and copy and paste the classes down here. Save that. Now we need a file to generate this. So in our utils folder, let's create a page util file. Page util.js. And what this is going to be is export const page util. It's going to be an array of objects. And we need one to correlate to each of our links. So we need a page of home. We also are going to have a couple of other properties on this. So let's do a header text. That's going to be the header that's displayed. Welcome to Consulting Ninja. Woo! An alt header, just in case. Gotta have the URL. This is gonna be hashtag slash. And then that template, so that we can pass this in and it will set our template for us. Pretty cool. Now let's create one of those for every page. So home, and if you're not sure, you can just look in the linkutil.js. We need a home, an about, a contact, a help, and a not found. About, about, All about consulting ninja. This let's do left. Then contact. Contact us. Let's just say contact. And hashtag slash contact. We got to have one on. Well, this let's leave this one center. And then help, help, help. 
So you want help, huh? So you want help, huh? This will be hashtag slash help. And let's make this one right. And then one last one for not found. Not found. Let's say page not found. This will be not found. All right, go ahead and give that a save. And then inside of our app.svelte, now we can actually do something. So what we want to do is import page util and then render out a list. So hashtag each. Let's close that each off. And then inside of here in if, hashtag if, close the if off. Now let's fill this out. So for the each, it's going to be page util dot page util as page. So it's going to run through all of our pages, and we pass that in as an array, so we don't have any we don't have to do any dots there. And the if it's going to be if dollar sign URL dot hash is equal to page.url or if dollar sign url uh, let's put this in parentheses to make this a little bit more clear as to what's going on dollar sign url dot hash is equal to triple equals to empty string and page.url is equal to at home because the first time that this loads the URL will be blank actually and then we need to import our page component import page from lib page then we're going to render a page passing the page like that give that a save let's see if we were successful Welcome to Consulting Ninja. And you can see we've got a hashtag there. If I go to about, all about Consulting Ninja, contact is contact, help is help. Pretty sweet. And all controlled from one central location. I hope that this video has been helpful for you guys. If you want to do this without hashing, uh, which there's pros and cons to both, Hashing is useful because if you run this in a uh, production environment, if you re hit refresh, uh, you will lose your route. It, it, you'll, get a, you'll get a 404. If you put this on a server somewhere without the uh, hash routing and you try to use the back button, you also will lose where you were at. Now you'll get a 404 as well. So hashing is a way to fix that. Now you can fix that also if you have access to the server that it's on you could configure your server to direct the traffic requesting those pages back to your app however if you're using someone else's hosting service you're probably not going to have access to that and so you won't be able to configure their servers for them so hashing is the way to get around that but if you wanted to do this without hashing there is a package called svelte routing that has the react style wrapper where you can wrap uh, import uh, router and routes from Svelte routing and then you would just wrap the uh, you would have a, a, ra a router component like that and inside would be your routes you still could do this where you have a route and then have a page a component in there so you can still do the same thing uh, I will have a, a version of that in the source code if you want to check it out so that you can see what that would look like. The only difference would be in your link.util, uh, I'm sorry, in your linkutil.js and your pageutil.js, you then would need to change the URLs to not include the hash anymore. So there we have it. There are our routes. Pretty cool stuff. Stay tuned for the next video because we're going to create a recursive component to quickly populate all kinds of cool stuff in those pages and we'll throw together a footer real quick as well. Until next time, you guys have a great day.